become of the professor then? Dunno. Perhaps he's preparing his sermon. He's been quiet since he's been working in that drawing room. Damn good job. He's been a pit to hear him. The same thing over and over again. Yeah, he does get himself worked up about things, doesn't he? What's the use of the likes of us wearing our heads about politics? I don't see it like that. We've got votes, haven't we? That means we ought to take some sort of interest. Yeah, we had to go the other day about money being no good at all. About money being the main cause of poverty. So it is the main cause of poverty. Here we go again. Gentlemen, Professor Owen is going to give us his well-known lecture, Money, the main cause of being hard up. Proving that money ain't no good to nobody. At the end of the lecture, a collection will be took to encourage the lecturer. Let me eat me dinner. Come on, Mr. Frank. Soapbox for the professor. There you go. Fine. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed members of the gentry, I'll show you the great money trick. Now, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to need a little bit of audience participation. Could I borrow your knife, please? And perhaps you could spare me some bread as well. Thank you. Right, this bread represents all the raw materials that exist naturally in and on the world for the use of mankind. But it wasn't put there by human beings. No. It simply existed there. Ever since the beginning of history, for the sustenance and benefit of all life. Like the air, like the light, the sun. Well, that's clear. Clear as mud. And I, I am a capitalist. Or, rather, the old capitalist class. Now, I own all of these raw materials. Doesn't matter how I got them, or whether I've got any right to them, the fact is, is that they all belong through inheritance, or deals with friends, to the landlord and capitalist class, me. Good enough. Now, you three are the working class. You've got nothing. While I own all of this, it's no good to me. Because what I need is what is made from the raw materials, from work. But I'm too lazy to do it myself, which is why I've invented the great money trick. So it's you will all do it for me. Now, as well as owning all this, all these raw materials, these knives stand for the machinery, the tools of production, railways, factories, you name it. And, these three coins. These stand for my money capital. Got it? We got it! Get on with it! Now, these three blocks are the things that are made from the raw materials by the labour with the aid of machinery. Right? We'll say that's a week's work. Three of them. And these eight beneath, these stand for a sovereign inch. Now this trick would work a lot better if I had real sovereigns, but oh, I forgot to bring any with me. I lend you some, but it left me purse on the grand piano. <laughs> Fact is, you lot all need work. And being as I am such a kind capitalist, I've invested all of my money into industries. So there's plenty of work. I'll pay you each a pound a week, and for a week's work, you have to produce me three of these blocks of bread. Then I'll give you your pound. I take what you produce. You can do whatever you want with your pound. Does that sound fair? Set to it then. You'll need yourself a piece of bread. Here you go. Right, where's your pound? Thank you. And your pound, sir? Yeah. Pound for you. Now, remember, these represent the necessities of life. Food, clothing, housing, everything. You can't live without consuming these things. And now, you have to buy them from me. 
It just happens that my price for one of these is one pound. Come on, give it over. You're hungry, aren't you? Mm -hmm. I'll have two, because I'm greedy. Right. I've got eight pounds in produce. I've got my three sovereigns back. What have you not got? Nothing. Believe it. Oh, you've been wanting some work then, weren't you? Yeah, of course we do. Step to it then. Right, we're going What's going on then? Sorry lads, owing to overproduction, my warehouses are filled with the necessaries of life. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to shut down the works. Well, what are you meant to do then? Well, that's none of my business, is it? I've paid your wages. I've given you plenty of work for a very long time. There's no more work at present. Come back in a couple of months. What about the necessaries of life? We've got to eat something, haven't we? Well, of course you have. And I'll be very pleased to sell you some. But we ain't got no bleeding money. Well, you don't expect me to give you my stuff for free, do you? You didn't work for me for free. I paid you. You should have saved something. Been more thrifty like me. Yeah, but if you don't give us something, what's to stop us taking it? I appeal to your sense of decency. It's fair play, isn't it? Don't wash with us, mate. We're hungry. If you're not a little more polite, I may be forced to get my friends, the police, down here. And they may be forced to bash your faces in in order to protect an innocent man from a bunch of villains. What are we going to do? Because I'm so very kind to you. A sovereign. Bless you, sir. And what are you going to do with that, my man? Buy food. If only there was someone as kind as me in charge of the country. Here, Mr. Kind Capitalist. Would you let us elect you to the Houses of Parliament? Christ! I'm trying! Quick, you lot! Get back to work before we all end up like old Jack! Jack. 